U.S. considers sending fifth-generation fighter jets to Ukraine. The United States is discussing providing Ukraine with fifth-generation fighters. These include the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II, which are no longer manufactured. This may happen as part of the meeting as her long-term needs, U.S. Secretary of State for Political Affairs Victoria Nuland said in an interview with the Washington Post. We continue the discussion. We are considering long-term air defence. Some countries in Europe are interested in providing them. This is a choice that they will have to make. But again, this is a picture that is changing. We see that Ukraine needs it. She said, commenting on the possibility of providing fourth or fifth generation fighters. Newland noted that the US is drawing up an assistance plan based on Ukraine's assessments of what equipment and what training is needed for the next steps of the battlefield. But, she stressed, it is not only about preparing for the upcoming spring battle, but also about the future of Ukrainian forces. We need to make sure that Ukraine is strong enough to protect itself from the return of Putin. Because we see this move now. He is just wasting time recovering and preparing for the return. We need to think about a strong air defence of Ukraine. We will include some of what we have already given, but perhaps also what we have not yet given, training for this, she added. In early February, the media citing officials reported that the United States was unlikely to agree to the transfer of its F-16 fighters to Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden said he was against such supplies. At the same time, it was not ruled out that Washington would give the green light for other countries to provide planes. On February the 9th, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced certain positive decisions regarding the transfer of Western F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine. On February the 4th, the Financial Times reported that while Biden said there would be no deliveries, Washington officials acknowledged they would likely provide Ukraine with more advanced air assets. The day before, Republican Congressman Michael McCall, while in Kiev, said that Washington was leaning towards sending longer-range ATA-CMS missiles and F-16 fighter jets to Ukraine.